Six months ago, Soulflower, Arizona's largest homegrown dispensary chain, opened four locations in the Tucson area. Now, nearly a half a year on, what is the impact of these dispensaries, as well as all the others, throughout Pima County and the Tucson area? Can I get a bobo, please? Soulflower has expanded fast. When we opened up our four stores down here in Tucson, we created over 100 jobs and had a, a lengthy construction process to build out the four stores. The dispensary chain moved into the Tucson market in October last year. Since then, it's made impacts both in the community. We've also been partnering with local charities. And financially. In terms of sales, you're seeing anywhere from, I would say, 70,000 a week to 80,000 a week at this particular location right now. Um, and that number does continue to grow. That growth is encouraging. And according to Soulflower's head of public affairs, it's contagious too. We've seen in the complexes where we've opened up, traffic has increased and we've driven more traffic to the stores. And also rents have in actually increased in the uh, complexes that we've located. In 2022, Pima County collected nearly $2.5 million in cannabis excise tax dollars. While 2023 numbers aren't finalized, yet, Soulflower and other brands have opened more shops. That should mean even more in the county's pocket and more choices for consumers. People are excited that we're in this area, especially those that maybe live a little bit more north of here. To have both of these locations here has been super helpful. For more information on Soulflower Dispensaries and its parent company, Copper State, visit our website at kgun9.com. At the corner of Rudisil and Oracle Roads, I'm Eddie Salaya, KGUN9 News.